Hi everybody, long time no see. In my last video I talked about John chapter 9, where a man who had been born blind was brought to Jesus, and his disciples asked him, who sinned? Was it the man or was it his parents? And Jesus answered, it's neither the man's fault nor his parents' fault. But this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. Now you may be wondering, well, what, what the heck does that mean exactly? Well, as I understand it, and this is just my interpretation, God wants to use whatever it is you're going through right now for good. And remember, God has the broadest definition of good out there. I mean, we're talking about more than just cash and prizes, which is how most of us define good, at least I do. God used that man's blindness for good in at least two ways that I can think of. First, he used that man's blindness to show that man conclusively who he was. Specifically, Jesus was God incarnate. He was God in human form. And after Jesus healed him, that formerly blind man became his disciple. And he placed such faith in Jesus that he was willing to be disowned by the religious leaders of his time and even his own parents, rather than to disown Jesus. The healing was proof, and that gave that man the faith to put his trust in Jesus. Secondly, God used the man's blindness as a testimony for others. That man had had a unique encounter with the Son of God, and now he can use that to bring others to Christ with his story. Now, folks, you may be going through something right now that, quite frankly, sucks. And you know what? It's not your fault, and it's not your parents' fault. It may not be anybody's fault other than just living in this broken world that we're living in right now. And you might be thinking, you know, is there any upside to this at all? Is there any silver lining? Is there any happy ending whatsoever? Well, I'm here to tell you there most certainly can be if you are willing to cooperate with God. God may be using this test that you are going through not only to draw you to him, but also to draw others to him through your story. In other words, I know it sounds trite, but God might be using your test to turn it into a testimony. So if you are being tested right now, I implore you, draw close to Jesus. Don't waste this crisis that you're going through. Spend time with Jesus. Spend time in his word, reading the Bible. Spend time in prayer. Just talk to him. Let God turn this negative into something positive. Now, will it be exactly what you want? Probably no. Will it be on your timetable? Hell no. But over the course of eternity, I promise you, it's going to be something a whole lot more rewarding than cash and prizes. It's easy to say, not so easy to go through. If you want to talk, leave something in the comments. Let's, let's have a discussion about this. And I thank you very much for watching. God bless you.